Hello, my friends. Thank you for playing Idle Tower Builder. I'm happy that you like the game and that you participate in suggestions and community. Uh, so today I've released uh, the version 1.4.6 uh, to each I.O. Uh, and this version makes it much easier for the translators to fix the trans game's translations and to add your own translation. And right now I'm going to explain how to uh, do this. So, uh, you can uh, change the texts which are now outside of the game. Uh, this is done this way. Okay, so here we have the game folder. And we have this data folder. And in data folder there is translations. And we have all these files .json with language code and .json. So you can uh, open any of these files uh, with a notepad or I recommend you to use a notepad++. Notepad++, here it is. It's a very convenient uh, text editor. And if you open it, any file with notepad++, you can change uh, its contest, contents. So here is phrases phrase code and phrase text. So, for example, I want to change this start button. Yeah, here it is. I want to, instead of this word start here, I want to have the word begin. So I just change this and with three exclamation marks. Uh, then if I just close the game and if I open it again, now I see the word begin. Uh, there is uh, also easier way to change translation and to check how to see this. If we go to the language selection, if I press English 10 times, we get this uh, it's special uh, hidden feature for the translators. Uh, this uh, console, we can close it. And we have these buttons, reload translations or, and text codes on and off. Uh, and if we now go to the English and we just add begin one, 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 one. I don't need to close the game, in fact, to see the changes. I just go to this and press reload translations, and you see this text has changed. Begin one one one. Uh, then also I can. Uh, here is another button here. Text codes on and off, and here you can see all these text codes. So if we change this text, so <clears throat> it lets you see uh, where which text is in the game. So if we look. Credits. Here it is. And I can just change the text. I switch. So now we have text credits here. I reload translations, it's where to credits. So you see this. Uh, so you can modify these files. If you want, uh, so and uh, please feel free to make changes to the languages. Uh, I have uh, three important announcements for you. So the Portuguese translation, uh, which uh, was, I should explain, yeah, so the, about the Portuguese translation, uh, that uh, it was uh, like first translated, then the game was expanded. So right now, uh, Starkino uh, health uh, with uh, and work is going on, work in progress, but maybe it can be better. But the hyper-translated Portuguese was kept uh, for fun. So we have Portuguese and hyper-translated Portuguese. Also, uh, the Italian translation is going to be uh, fixed very soon and uh, Netherlands will appear here. And what to do if you want to have your language in the game? Uh, let's say, for example, Finnish language, if you want to add Finnish language. 
You should go here to the folder data translations. Copy this English file. And just uh, drag it here and rename it. Instead, uh, let's rename it to fee. And now let's open this fee file with uh, uh, with with Notepad. So we have, have fit that JSON. Here we put the language for code of the language, Finnish language fee. Here is the language self name. So what does it mean? Uh, you shouldn't write Finnish here, but you should check on Wikipedia how this language is called. Uh, and for Finnish, it's called Suomi language. So, so to let uh, the native speakers know that it's uh, their language. Then you can add your information and your website and some comments. Uh, this will be shown in the language selection text. And then, well, let's look uh, how does it um, start in, in Finnish. Start. Alka. Okay, let's try. Uh, let's use this variant. So we go to this text here. We are working in the file fee.json and we can use this. So I saved it. So if you are only adding new language, so you'll have to uh, close the game and open for the first time, then uh, reload translations will work. So right now I'm closing the game. I'm open it. And here we can see Suomi, Suomi language. I open it, and here it is start, it's called, as it's called in Finnish. And then you can uh, change everything in this, uh, with these texts, in this section. You can just change part of it, then another part, and it will gradually, uh, get uh, get its shape so once you've done please uh, ping me as a report uh, and i will be happy to in implement your translation into the actual game so this is how it's done uh, also when you are making changes uh, when you're working with json file uh, it's recommended to make sure that you this json validator you can post all the text from your json file here press validate json and well if it's okay then uh, it will work if you for example skip some miss uh, some comma it will show you that uh, it it's missing a sign so, all right, thank you so much. Uh, happy that you participate in our activities and uh, we'll, have, we'll be glad to uh, have idled our builder in more and more languages. Thank you, bye-bye.